So welcome all of you to this lightning talk. First, did you know that there is a wholesome dependency manager for Raku? It's called Paku, not Zef. This is the other one. Also, did you know that somebody created blockchain integration, a test harness, and the CMS using Raku? These are the kind of questions that prompt me to do a little talk about people who have been authoring Raku stuff and inspiring others. Disclaimer, this list is completely subjective. I didn't even really negotiate or discuss with anyone. If anything is inaccurate on this list or anything is missing, it's probably my fault. Also, there are too many names, which is a good thing, honestly. But we need to hurry. So first, I want to mention somebody who I didn't want to include to this list because they were mostly doing work in the core language and in NQP in the runtime. But they are unfortunately passed away earlier this year. I'm talking about Ben Davis, also known as Kayepi. So I thought their knowledge and great contributions to the language need to be remembered. A better news would be to mention uh, Richard Hainsworth. I originally wanted to add Richard Hainsworth to the list, but then he got appointed to a Raku Steering Council member. So now I think his contributions are more than acknowledged. So the first actual entry to this list would be David Waring. And this one is not coincidental because he is the main reason I wanted to do this talk. Because somebody who created this many great tools, mostly related to PDF technology, CSS, XML, these will be the three big ones. And they all come with this nice documentation. And I think one should really appreciate how many languages, including mainstream ones, don't have tools that are nearly this good and this well documented. So it's a real pleasure to have David Waring here. Next up, we have somebody who is second on the prolific authors list as well, if we don't count the community modules. It's Jonathan Stove, who contributed modules like Test Meta or JSON class, to name a few quite essential ones. But when we look at XML fast, and especially the story it has, we can see that he is also inspired by the old fun attitude in the Raku community. Then I want to wanted to mention Alexei Melezik, who is the creator of Sparrow Hub, a Raku-driven CI platform. He is mostly known for other CI and automation tools including, well, a sub-project, the Rakudo Release Readiness Toolkit, which I definitely wanted to mention. It contains a reproductions for several Raku bugs. I think it would be nice if we could use it, because the idea is honestly quite great. Then I also wanted to add Rolly Fowler to this list the creator of Hummingbird, a web framework, also wrote a couple of articles about Raku and what they were doing. And I think the particular reason I added Rowley Fowler is that he spent such a short time with us in the community, I mean, and yet he managed to create things like a builder plugin for CMake 
and then obviously also a module I think multiple modules that used this CMake building for native call stuff so I think sometimes it's really good to see how far somebody can get when people have the dedication and, and motivation and last but not least I want to just name a couple of people who are presenting here as well we have Anton Antonov with a lot of machine learning and data science work we have FCO who has started various projects over a lot of years and I think he's really inspiring for starting uh, off with different things and we have Leon Timmermans who created Get Up Long which is really a big favorite of mine and also Pathfinder and a couple of essential modules so I can only say happy hacking keep up the good work and stay inspired thank you very much